today we're going to talk about uh, the Lego Technique 42077 Rally Car. And this is a beautiful model. It's a, got a nice color combination. And this is supposed to be, of course, an extremely fast car. And to achieve that, um, I motorized it. And um, this is not the first motorized version of this model. There are, there are several other ones out there. But this one has got a couple of special features that I would like to talk about. So normally you have this kind of uh, component in the back uh, which um, you can, for example, add a motor to this part and uh, then it will drive um, the wheels. Uh, the problem is, of course, that these little pins uh, that um, are used to trans transmit the force are so tiny that they really break very quickly and it's not really useful for any kind of serious play or serious driving around. Um, they'll, they'll break very quickly. So this is not a good construction for something that actually is robust and will work for a longer time. It's, it's an elegant solution and a beautiful solution. And um, it's really nice, but drive around with this for more than half an hour and uh, you'll find yourself that the little pins will have broken off. So the way I solved this uh, over here is by actually putting the motors directly onto the wheels. And this got, has got a couple of advantages. Uh, the main is that you don't have any gears uh, that will uh, automatically lead to a reducement in uh, the efficiency. Um, so uh, the force goes directly from the motor to the wheel uh, while still maintaining the possibility of uh, suspension so these things can actually move so the suspension is still there the whole motor actually moves so um, suspension is still there but um, uh, the force goes directly from the motor to the wheel another important issue with this kind of fast cars let's say is that um, the main obstacle probably is always friction uh, when these things rotate um, they create friction, plastic goes against plastic, and that can never be good. So what I did here is that I actually introduced the um, ball bearings uh, from mine sensors that I, that I put uh, in here, and that in the front and in the back. And what you see is that when you spin the wheels, it really just spins and spins and spins. This is the power of the ball bearings, and they just make the whole uh, car move so much faster. So they're used in the back as well as in the front. Um, again, suspension is maintained um, and um, the, actually the weight of the car um, is not on the motor axle here. It actually, um, the suspension grips onto the um, ball bearing here. So all the force and all the weight is on the ball bearing and not on the motor. Uh, the battery pack is of course the heaviest part of the whole uh, vehicle plus the motors and you see they're all very much in the back here um, right then we got the normal servo motor which does the um, uh, turning so uh, let's just give it a bit of a try um, this is just the motor spinning and uh, the left and right so this works all very nice unfortunately there was not enough space for the motor I mean it's just decoration anyway um, but of course, symbolically, the power plant is still here, which is the batteries. So other than that, the whole car is pretty much untouched. Um, um, just a few minor modifications. So I'd say let's go and uh, go for a spin. As you can see, this car is pretty fast. I would argue that this is the fastest version of the rally car so far. Unless you would use the uh, specific uh, RC motors, if you use normal power function motors, this is as fast as this thing can go. 